Greetings everyone, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be teaching you how to use Vidly. Now this is going to be a longer video than I have, so be prepared for a length of time. So if you want to go to a certain section, I've timestamped certain sections in the description below. So without further ado, we're going to get started. So as you can see here, I already have made a few projects as you can see. Now, if you want to completely make an entirely new project, you just simply press New Project. So, what I have up on the crown here, that means I'm already a pro member. I bought the software so that way I can show you its full features. Because when you do download Vidly for the first time, as a disclaimer, it's not completely free. You can use some of the features, but it's not all free. So you have to buy a premium or pro membership to be a part of the full experience. So we're just going to press new project just to get things started. So what it gives you here is the add window. So when you go and press the home button, it takes you back to your home button. And then when you go through this button here, it gives you tutorials on how to edit and trim videos as well. And then there's also dragging and dropping, transitions, arranging and splitting, and mixers, and masks, and reset slider. So it has all the tutorial functions here if you want to go through this. But if you just want to go right through and watch this video and do it, then we're just going to get to it right away. So that's just an option. So on the bottom here, you see Canvas, where basically it shows you the dimensions of your video. So if you press Canvas, you go to Format, and then it gives you the various formats, like 16x9, 4x3, 1x1, which is the square, 9x16, which is mostly TikTok or Clapper or whatever short form social media site you use, YouTube Shorts, whatever. Then there's 3-4 three, three, ratio, 4-5 ratio. And then there's 235 by 1. So this is like the ultra widescreen format. And then they have fit. So for the sake of this video, we're going to choose by what most people are going to do, 16 by 9. And then what you do is you go and press the plus sign to add your media. But before we go any further, I'll show you color. So it gives you a color of the background that you can choose here so you can choose whatever color you want here so uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to skip that we'll just turn it back to black then we're going to go format select our format and go add our clips and then we're just going to go ahead and add a clip here as an example so what we're going to do is i'm going to let's say add this to my project so once you do that you go add to project and then it just imports your clip here which is like a short clip of me with a filter so what you can do is you can go to fit here which fits it into the screen you can go this format as well and this is the 4x5 and then 16 by 9 so to completely crop it mm -hmm. what you would do is you would press on the timeline and then you would use your fingers and pinch it so that it stretches and fills the screen that's how you would do it. So that way, if you want the full 16 by 9 resolution for your video, then that's how you do it. But you might get grainy footage if you do that. So make sure that if you film your footage that it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. So there's just my footage right there. So And then what you can do is you can add more footage as you go. So we're just going to go and select just other footage here. Let's just go with these three then we're going to go add to project so then once you've done that you can go through and see which parts work for, for you and then if you want to zoom out the timeline you can just take your two fingers and pinch it like this and pinch it all the way so that you can see all the clips that you added so this is the full 16 by 9 footage that we use and then this is a 9 by 16 and then you can do the same thing. You can, uh, you can transform it, then you can press fill, which automatically fills it in for you if you don't want to pinch it. And then you can do the same with all your other clips here, so that way it's consistent. So then you go here, then you go here, and then it's all filled. So then, if you want a more precise edit, what you would do is you would stretch the timeline out even more, 
and then you would just listen for that segment and then what you would do is you would click on your clip and then yeah, you click on your clip and then the, the split button is right down here so you would press split and then it splits your clip and then you can move it to a separate layer up on top so once you do that it shows your clip and the layer and then you can just keep cutting as you go so you can go here and cut it you can go here and cut it it's really precise so this really makes it easy if you want to do like a lot of jump cutting or if you're into cuts like that so definitely splitting those scenes really makes a difference and we've already split the scene a couple of times here so it's very precise very thorough and very easy to do at that point then you can just split other clips here and then what you can do is you can also add them into layers so if you press and hold on a clip you can drop it here into a separate layer and then it makes it a separate layer like that so that way you can move clips up and then make them into layers and then you can also put filters on it so what you do is you go filters then you choose the type of filter that you want and you can adjust the intensity of the filter and then you can just pick any one that you want and adjust it to however you like let's just give it this look here that just makes it pop a little bit better just like the eyes there it's crazy eyes if I had that much coffee watch out I would hurt somebody bad in the bum anyways so you can add filters to various clips here I'm just gonna add this filter let's just do that we'll just add a filter there there we go so we added a filter on this layer so if you see any other layers like this we, we could we couldn't apply the filter so to see this we just uh, we just apply it and then it would show up on the bottom so you would just drag it out there and then it would show like that so that's the thing you got to be careful with where you place your layers so to delete layers you just go and delete it and put it in the garbage can right there so that's how you delete layers but you can have a lot of layers if you're a pro member I think if you are a regular member you're only limited to three layers so that's the only thing and then what you would do is you would go here and then there you have the adjustment button where you can adjust the exposure so too bright too dark just right and then contrast where you can adjust the contrast of it and then the brightness all your specific features and then your saturation button where you can saturate it or desaturate it however you like there so you give it a certain look and then vibrant you can adjust the vibrance here and then there's warmth where you can show the warmth of the video and then there's tint where you can adjust the tint of the video and then there's hue you can adjust the hue red green and blue that sort of thing there's a yellow tint there and then you can go the offset where it adjusts it like that or you can go completely like that and then you can add text here so you double tap to edit it and then it shows this is text and then you press the check mark to apply it and then you can move it around with your thumb like this or then you can also pinch it to make it bigger or you can pinch it to make it smaller and you can just put it anywhere you like here it lines it up accordingly to the ratio that you have it set and then you can also adjust the layer up here you can also adjust the duration of the layer like that so then what you would do is you would just click on that layer and then you would just adjust it further and then you can line it up like this you can just press and hold and line it up like that so it constantly shows above your video and then you can do whatever you want with the other clips here so you can transform it so you can mirror it flip it rotate it so rotation is good if you've recorded some footage with a camera or a phone and it didn't turn out the way that you want it so let's say you recorded it like that and then you want to rotate it around that's what it's good for there and then the fit is where it adjusts it to the automatic fit but if it's fill it fills it up to the canvas that you have preset and then you can also adjust the speed on a clip so faster and then slower right here so that's the slow and then that's the fast so then what you would do is you would go back to your clip and then you would just adjust the speed accordingly and then you just press out and then there is also 
audio where you can press audio and then you can unlink the audio from the video and then you can go fade so you can go fade in automatically there fade in like that and then you can go fade out like that so that it fades out right away like this clip I have synced there so then you can hear so that you can let the audio fade in and fade out there that's just how much I adjusted it and then the filters here there's presets and then we've already gone through the presets these are the presets that you can generally include or that are generally included with the pro membership so we're just going to include that in and then go from there and then you can also there's effects as well so there's an RGB effect so you can adjust the intensity here whoa funky like a 3d effect that you can see here pretty cool then there's a vibration effect okay let's set it to 44 duration and then I'm just gonna see what else is there not bad that's pretty nice and then what you can do is you can just uh, let's go back there so you can adjust the filters presets so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through that and then select another preset and then these are the presets right here and then they have the 11 that's really nice and then you can just adjust it however you like here So you can adjust these filters however you like, which is really nice. And then it shows whatever effects you apply. And then you can duplicate. You can duplicate the layer. And then it shows up on the top. So we just duplicated that layer and it appears right on the top there. And then there's also a blending function where you can overlay. Overlay and then you can screen. And then you can do hard and soft light and darken. And you just do like some weird transitions like that. It's really nice. And then lighten, light plus. It's funky. And those are what you have there. And then they have the masking effect where you can do here. The masking where you can, let's see. There's FX2. So we're just going to go back here and then we're going to go mixer and then they have the masking effect and then we'll do a radial mask and then you can adjust and you can adjust the feather of the mask the position of the mask like this and then you can like keyframe it and animate it and then there's also the inverted mask right here and then i think if you adjust the keyframes here you can animate it but like if you move it for a certain position, it'll track that. But most of the time it doesn't track it if you don't have the keyframe set up. So I don't think it has a keyframe function here, but I think if I think if you add something there, it should. And there's also a mirror mask, a linear mask, and then we'll go, let's just revert it. So I think we can change the color of the mask here. Then there's a chroma key. So we can adjust the intensity of the chroma key. Let's just pick a color, there we go. And then we can adjust the shadow, then the intensity, and then you can just reset it. There's a color picker here that we can pick. Okay, and then our key shows up here. Then you can just reset it if you don't like how it looks. And then there's the adjustment function again, transformation we've already looked at, and then the mask which we've already looked at, and then the blending that shows when we've already seen that already. We've already blended a few clips together. So the possibilities are endless on here, this software, so it really makes for a good amount of editing that you can do. And it's like a full-on editor that you can like make YouTube videos with exclusively. And then for the effects here, there's uh, Pixelate. So you can go and pixelate it. You can increase, you can um, widen it to increase the pixelation. You can adjust the intensity of the pixelation so that way you can have some constant, you can do a blur effect like one of those like interviews where you don't want them to see your face, that sort of thing. 
and then you can like make it so that it blurs certain objects like like an eyeball or something and then you can arrange it that way and then you can just duplicate it as you go so there's a pixelate effect here and then <clears throat> you can apply other effects so there's pixelate defocus uh, prism whoa that's funky so then you can adjust the intensity of the prism and then you can uh, you can duplicate the prism so yeah that's pretty trippy a lot of effects that you can apply in these videos and then that's pretty much it you can mix content which we're going to do here or you can mix mix and match content as you go so and you can mask it I'm just going to go back and then you can trans you can free transform it using your fingers here on the screen and you can just keep adding clips as you go and then it just does a good job so we're just going to play our whole project back so we've done quite a few edits already and we haven't even spent a lot of time on this app so it's really cool what kind of effects that you can do you can add music you can unlink music from various other clips you can do plenty of that so it's really nice and you, when you're adding music it takes music straight from your phone that you can add onto your device and i'm not going to add any music because of the copyright policies so yeah so that is how you normally edit with this app and then once you're all done all you do is you press export and then it gives you the option to save you can adjust the resolution up to 360p to 4k so it's ultra hd it takes up a lot more space but it does a really good job so i usually put it on 720p and then 30 frames per second but if you have like a high res 4k file it enables smoother animation but it takes a lot more time to render so you stick with that and then you press save and then it exports the project and then you just upload it to youtube so we're just going to let that export a bit but i already did this video so we're just going to cancel it and then what it does is if you go back home it saves your project right there and then you can press the three dots to rename your project and then you can just write the name what it is so i'm just going to say test video you can press the check mark and then boom that names your project right there so this project phone editing was is for a youtube video that i'm going to be doing next week so i put this video up where i talked about certain video editing softwares and then i put a little blurb at the end here and this was all done in video leap <clears throat> which is really cool so yeah this is the tutorial portion of the video so i'll be posting that video next week but I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video, and if you found it helpful, just leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Have a great day.